see it, bro. I had a picture that one of Who this guy right here? Who this hey, guy? I'm back. Hey. What's up, what's up, everybody? You know, we are out here at a top secret flounder location. I don't know if this is on my lens or what, but sorry if it's a little foggy. It's a little humid this morning. Mm -hmm. Anyway, a little warm today. It's gonna be a little humid, a little warm. I'm gonna come out here, throw some goat, look for some flatties, and uh, see who we can catch. It's all catch and release, it's all love, you know, just coming out here, getting into them. I know Eric's been getting into them a little bit yes, here and there. Sir. So, uh, first trip here for the season for me. So we're gonna walk over here down the street. Oh, you got a clean reel. Is that new? No. Oh, I, look, you just, maybe you washed it. Yeah, or maybe because my, I got sleep in my eye. This is my sturdy. Been Ooh. with me about three years. So we got a couple cars over here with some surprises me. Season closed, so you know what? We're going to put them on blast and see anybody keep them fish. Yes, sir. Don't anybody. keep fish around me because I'm a snitch. Yeah, man. You're a <laughs> Eric, said, <laughs> Eric said if he can't keep none, no I one can. Yeah. No one can. And uh, I do have the game warden on speed dial. I just texted him the other day. Yep. We caught somebody slipping the other day. Yesterday, right? Yep. Yesterday, someone was at Fairland and keeping fish. So Putting fish in your tackle bag. Putting <laughs> fish in your tackle bag. So I had to uh, shoot my boy a text. So. No, no flounder in your tackle bag. No flounder in your waders. There's a reason for it, right? Yeah, it's a reason. Yeah. So. I don't think these people tell you they can't, you it. can't keep flounder just because they want to. Right. It's they trying to... Let them build. Yeah, you know? get the population. Get the population back up. Ain't nobody want to keep no flounder anyway. It's not like it's a steak or a cheeseburger. <laughs> flounder tastes like crap. Keep hardheads. Hardheads taste better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta eat local. Eat hardhead. Eat hardhead. You You're gonna get hit. Yeah, yeah, man. All these. I ain't trying to make this the final destination. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't trying to make a snuff film. <laughs> 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 all right so we got the getter done rig white goat pearl white there you go charshu's tail pearl white stay woke get her done rig going on here it's gonna be a full house today we got three people down there me and eric and two more people just showed up yeah, it's gonna be a full house today I'm thinking, nah, what? Just look like this, might be bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, fool. It's a little, it's a little big uh, sand trout. Yeah, a little big sand trout. That one would hit you. He ripped me up. He choked this one. Well, that's a thick sand. I know. That's what I said. It was a little thick one. He got caught up. Man, how you get all wrapped up like that, player? Sand trout sucker. He got a sand trout too? Stay woke. Stay woke. Stay woke, sand trout. Watch your back. Let me get my cup. That's what we're gonna be eating water. First fish of the day. This is a different kind of flounder right here. <laughs> a little sandy. He gone. No. He could keep it. He could keep it. It just got heavy. It wasn't like a, uh, was never like a thump. There you go. Small, somebody's line, somebody's line. <laughs> Dang, this somebody thick. They no. always do that too, bro. Thick ass. <laughs> Knitting a shirt. That ain't a line, that's a stringer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stringer. Might as well just pull that whole damn thing up. You don't need that, all right? You don't need all this bright line. 100 pound test. You know, because a lot of the, this water so clean, a lot of the fish out here are line shy. They see they see that 100 miles away. My thing, bro, most of these fish ain't At 100 five pound test. six pounds, Yeah, man. you don't need a 100 pound test line for- bro, Yeah, you're not coming out here hooking eight pounds even, every day. Even, even, if it's, even if it's a solid 12 pound fish, yeah. you don't need a 100 pound for 12 pounds. Man, you Just can toss up a- Eric said he catch small ones only. Come on, Eric. Set that up. What you waiting on? Just, just I told you. You set the hook. You were just coming with me. But you don't want him to eat it. First it. flounder, man. Eric was worried about this spot. Said uh, he didn't know where they were. Trying to stay down. He is staying down. Good. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. He's a keeper. Pop him up. Oh yeah, nice little flatty. 
Look fatty daddy. Hold him up, Eric. I don't have no measures with me or nothing. Me neither, dude. I think I got one on the back of my truck, man. What did I have to call that? 17? Yeah, Might be 18. Man. Close. Nice little, nice little bed. Oh. Well, and watch, and watch. This is what you do with your friends, right? So he caught it right there. <laughs> you, <laughs> you go right back to it. Well, I don't want that other one. I don't want that other one to get away. Well, you know I ain't gonna say nothing because I do that. No, you're the king of that, Eric. Eric, Eric, they they got you in songs and and uh, they got you in songs and fairy tales behind you, bro. Yeah, you folklore. Back in the summer of 2019. Hey, look, Eric, I'm stuck. <laughs> That's why you don't pot like Eric's stuff, man. Because Eric gets you hung up every time. I say I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I, Eric told, I told Eric to hold on. I'm trying. He don't listen. Eric got two right in the same spot. Right in the same spot. See? Eric going in the move. Little fate. Oh, man. This guy's small. He's yeah. a little chipper. That would make me go on hooking. Yeah, he started swimming with it. Yeah, you're gonna go. Listen, oh, you lost the go. If that can't want it. Let's get him back in a little nudge. Yeah. yeah Trying to kid. You got him? No, you ain't. You got to have me there right off here. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this fool. <laughs> Man, ain't no fish out there. It was so Why you get my hopes up? I thought he was there, but it was like a it was like a little divot or something. It was like a little divot. I thought I was. Damn it! I thought it was my birthday. <laughs> I could even set the hook right up. Too busy laughing. Yay! All right, so you know this was a dud. This was a bust. You know, yeah. you know, Eric caught a couple, and uh, I and I had a couple tie-offs, and that's it. That's a wrap over here. We want to go over the fair landing and see if um, we can hook up real quick. see if we can hook up real quick. Probably be packed out full of people. I was surprised how many people we count down there. About eight. Eight all together. Yeah, about eight people down here all together, and uh, saw a few flounder get caught. You got two or three over there climbing rocks. Yeah, you do have a couple on the other side climbing rocks. But we're gonna roll and go and uh, see if we pull up to the fair landing. Probably a few people over there. Hopefully, we can squeeze in. We'll see what's up. You got, well, you got a fish? <laughs> you ain't got no fish. You got one. I know. Here, bang it. You ain't got one? No, you get fish. Yes, I do. Set the hook. There is a fish on that. You ain't got no fish on <laughs> yours, son. <laughs> I had a fish. You had a baby. That's I, I felt like it was in a hole. <laughs> Look at that. Man, it felt like you had one. I, th I thought I had one. It's coming up that little ledge. Huh? They don't. They don't like these foreign shrimp today. Oh. They don't like. They don't like the big shrimp. I'm yeah. using it. I caught like one. I see some of the smaller stuff, and I caught the rest like that. Okay. Like they kept on like, just the tail of it. Yeah. And I'll let them eat it. For Get back, man. <laughs> don't slap me with that fish. <laughs> don't slap me with that fish. I ain't. Uh, yeah. He's swimming. Like my. Uh, Eric cheating. I could have nothing to you, but he took off. He's small. Yeah. He undersized. That, that lure looks bigger than him. Yeah, for real. Well, that's going to do it today. You know, 
Captain Eric out here handing off the rod to your boys. So I can get at least one little flounder up. You know, but it's a slow day. You know, we talked to a couple of the people out here, and uh, nobody's catching. You know, nobody's catching anything. You know, one long, gentleman, slow going out time. One gentleman fish like four in the morning, and I think he caught like nine. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's like what four or five hours for nine fish, and nothing really too big to speak of. So I mean, that's that's it. You know. You know, you get these cold fronts to come in and you get these surges of uh, flounder that move through the area. And uh, we just gotta wait for the next front, the next surge. You know, that tide could change a little bit, the wind can change a little bit, and the bike can, you know, pick back up. So, you know, it's fishing, it's not exact science, but thought I'd come out and spend a few hours with Eric this yes, morning. Sir. And really appreciate it. Yeah, I had a good time, I had a good time no yeah. matter what. Um, did catch that nice sand trout, I should probably should have kept it. Yeah. So I'll eat a taco or something today. Did a catch oh, a cook. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all the flounder were released, everybody, you know, we saw people catching uh, here and there, and they, everybody released the flounder, so, you know, we didn't have to go into junior game warden mode and <laughs> break my taser out. Oh, I think that will be great footage. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, hope you catch me hooking up. Yes, Eric? Sir. Later. Later.